Hi, I'm Chelsea, a digital artist, and I am starting my small art business. Today, I'm going to take you into the final stages of creating and launching my online shop, which is already live as the love of this video, and the summary of the past month of working on it. At the start of the year, I set the goal to myself to finally create and launch my very own online shop, which has been a dream of mine since I started to pursue an illustration career four years ago. After trying some platforms of print-on-demand and marketplaces, I was not satisfied with how these platforms worked, so I decided to make my own website shop and gain full control over my artwork and how it sold and gets to potential customers. Since I wanted to give a more personal touch to my products and personalized attention to my shop, I started to work on it by the end of May, with the main goal of launching at some point in summer. It has been a couple of months since I'm working on this project and I am beyond happy and ready to bring to life my new products to my shop this month. So join me while I take you to my process of creating and launching my online shop. The first thing I did was to consider what I wanted to design and made a list of the type of products I wanted to have in my shop. Second was to figure out with what budget I could work and invest into my business. This led me to do some research on the equipment and materials I was going to need in order to make my own products at home and have a shop launch according to my possibilities. I am the type of person who would love to have it all done and this was leading me to overwhelming loads of work and to an unorganized impossible schedule. Having to figure out many things in order to have them made and ready to be in the shop, I was losing track of the main goal and I was not making a good use of my time and energy. So instead, I had to take a step back and as a small business, bringing the attention and energies into working with what I already had in hand which was my personal illustrations and they will work as art prints and the main product of my shop. After having all this scene decided, I made a selection of my work that would be part of the product of the shop. I don't do this selection based on some kind of rigid process like social media popularity, but instead I choose the ones I think will perform well or the ones I personally enjoy the most. Of course, this is something that needs to be tested in time and a process from which I will learn what works best for my business. I decided then to leave the new type of products that I wanted to make and I'm not familiar with for small shop updates in the near future. This way I can be totally focused on each type of product and they will have the best quality when I release them without incurring in over budget or over expenses at the starting point while also featuring my most valuable resource, which are my full illustrations, and then schedule the creation of the new products with more time and energy to make something I will be proud of. Now that I have decided what products I will start my shop with, and having acquired and tested the necessary materials to create the physical products, I can select a reasonable date to schedule the shop launch. With all the details I need to work on in mind, I selected the mid of July as my launch date, since the workloads of the initial preparations have now slowed down and I can focus on the finishing touches and creating the promotion and necessary graphic materials for the announcement. So with the launch date set, I prepare to get everything done for the release. Currently all the products in my shop are made and shipped by me with the exception of my t-shirt design, which is made through Printful and sold through my shop. So for this launch, I am releasing 24 original art prints, which will be available in A4, A5 and square format. Two bundles of three artworks each, with two main themes, florals and daily moments, and one t-shirt illustrated by me. When it comes to the products I made, and since my business is starting, therefore it doesn't have much traction yet, I don't need to have things pre-made and will print on the go as orders came to my shop, which gives me the freedom of controlling the inventory and not having products that don't sell around, taking up space. The only inventory I have to worry about at the moment 
are the packaging and shipping materials I will use when sending an order to you. To create my prints, I'm using an Epson Echo Tank 2826 inject printer, which was a very affordable printer and not only the prints and colors are beautifully made and it can print on sticker sheets too, but also it saves ink, which can help to reduce the ink expenses in the future while my shop starts to get traction. For the art print papers, I've chosen to work with the Hannemule Fine Art Print brand because they have high quality papers that have the finish I expect when I print my illustrations. I've selected two of their papers according to each type of print I want to make. And for the thank you cards, I use the Staples Paper brand, which prints in a very good quality and is really affordable. For the envelopes, I got the Creative Color brand in pastel pink to keep the aesthetics of my products and shop aligned as a cohesive brand. I'm also using pink tissue paper from Amazon due to be an inexpensive addition that not only will embellish the package and will provide a satisfying experience when unpacking my products, but it will also protect the print from any scratches inside the envelope during transportation. To cut in down prints, I use the Vicen Creative Cutter. For keeping the prints extra safe, I'm reusing cardboard bags from packages I have received and cut down to size so that your order is protected from bending while it is in the way to you. For additional information, I decided to print on my small envelopes the return address and the please do not bend signed, which saved me from having to buy ink stamps initially. Unfortunately, the bigger envelopes don't fit into my printer's trail, so for those, I will have to write things by hand until I can invest in other packaging materials. If you are interested in getting any of these products for starting your own small business, I will leave my Amazon links down below in the description box. At this point, all my products are ready to go, and here is a little preview of what you can find in my shop. If you like to start or expand your print collection and want to support me, now is the perfect opportunity to do so. You can check out my shop with the link in the description. Since the products are ready to go, the next part is to make some product photos and graphic materials to upload to the shop. I am no stranger to photography, but taking product pictures is its own world. And since I don't have all the necessary means to create the pictures I would like, and didn't want to print all the versions of my artwork in order to save materials, I decided to go with the second best choice, mockups. I personally have a subscription to Place It by Envato from where most of my mockups are, but you can find free to use mockups with just an online search. I wanted to have a cohesive aesthetic in all the images with my products. And since I'm working with prints, it was easy to create beautiful images where my art stands out while showcasing them in different placements. I still had to make more specific pictures to show other things that mockups didn't have. But if you are looking for somewhere to start and don't know or have the equipment, this can help you. After having all this done, the next logical step was to update my website and add all the products with their corresponding descriptions and prices. I do the uploading in bulk to my website and from there I create each individual listing. My shop is created using the e-commerce feature from Wix. I decided to keep using my own website, which I had already created last year for showcase my portfolio, because I wanted to have all my information, products and services in one place so I don't get overwhelmed by having to manage different platforms at the same time, plus paying double subscription plans. So in my website, I can create a new product and add all the descriptions, prices, additional informations and variations as I need, and then replicate this as a template, only having to update the images and name on each product, which makes it easier when coming to list products. The downside is that if I need to make any changes, I have to go product by product fixing whatever is necessary. Since I'm starting with only three print types, I created my own guideline for pricing my products based on each size and it has helped me to price my art fair and accessible at the same time.
After pricing, it's time to add the shipping information. In this case, this is done in a separate window where I had to set the regions I will be shipping and the types of shipping options I'm offering. This was a very complicated part to figure out and I'm sure I still have so much to learn on the way. But having already experienced how it's like to ship something, I feel more confident and can't wait to send out your orders. Once I have all these steps completed, my website is ready for launch date. This part is repetitive and a bit tedious. I recommend splitting it into small portions of your week schedule so you don't get overwhelmed by it. And you can do other things and feel the progress you are making. As an important part of running an online shop, you will need to make sure that your website is easy to navigate and find products and that your customers have all the necessary information regarding your products and shipping in order to make an informed purchase. In order to make sure everything is ready to go, I check the inventory of my packaging supplies. To pack small flat prints, I use a 5x7 envelope, which I customize myself by adding important information and some illustrated details like the do not bend and my shop logo stamp. And to pack bigger flat prints, I use an A4 envelope. I have also designed some thank you cards, which I print and cut myself. And there, I will leave a personal thank you note for your order to my shop. To wrap and protect my orders, I will use pink tissue paper, which will add to the unpacking experience. Since it is semi-transparent, you will get a pre-reveal of the print while taking it out of the envelope. To seal the tissue paper, I'm using decorated washi tape to make sure that the wrapping stays in place and that the print doesn't get harmed in any way. Finally, I make sure I have the right stamps for each envelope to start with the shop launch. With all those things from my checklist, I feel prepared for the launch of my shop and to pack and send orders in a beautiful and safe way. While also adding my personal touch to all the steps involved in buying from my shop and showing my gratitude and love for every single one of you who supports my work. While preparing to create and launch my online shop in the past few months, I have learned a couple of lessons and I want to share them with you in case you are on the same journey as me. The first one is to make a plan. Assess all the things you want to do and build a roadmap from it. Give yourself time to research, test and make the things you need to. And all this needs to be included in that schedule, otherwise you will not know where to start. You don't have to do it all at once or have a huge amount of products to start with. If I wouldn't have been pointing to this lesson, I probably will still be making new things to have more products to start with. Which might seem appealing, but it will probably will have made things more complex and overwhelming than they already were. Best is to start small and grow from there. Which takes me to my next lesson. Use what you already have in hand. This will save you time and energy and it will help you make more progress in a shorter amount of time. It's best to make a conscious selection of your best work and build from it that start a bunch of new things you don't know if they will perform. You need to give your audience time to tell you what they want to see from you too. And you can always plan to make new products in future shop updates. The idea is not to limit yourself with the amount of things you will sell. Of course, you can make all the things you want, but it can be by planning and releasing small batches at a time. While giving you time and experience managing the shop and learning what works and what doesn't. Last but not least will be to have balance and consistency. Make your daily schedule and stick to it. Overworking only will make you tired and you need to be rested and fresh to make new art or to manage admin work with the least amount of mistakes possible. So having a work schedule will help you see where your time goes and how much progress you can make in a day. You can break overwhelming tasks into smaller ones and spread them through your week. It's better to take the time to do the things right and have time to work on other stuff during your day too. You will make more progress this way, won't be as much stressful 
and it will feel that you are making a good use of your time while maintaining your focus through all the day. And finally, just start. Sometimes we postpone things we want to do due to feeling not ready. And the reality of it is that there is no better moment for start than now. A year from today, you will look back and be proud to have given a shot to your goals and we have learned valuable lessons about life and yourself that otherwise will not. So by the time you are watching this video, my online shop is officially opened and I hope that this blog has been helpful to you. I tried to recap all the major important things I have done and learned through this journey for you to learn too and hopefully to inspire you to pursue your dreams. So if you find this video helpful or interesting, please leave it a like. And as always, if you have any questions related to starting a small business or my shop, feel free to leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more art-related videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!